The Rams beat the Cardinals 34 to 11. Now, this is the same Cardinals that were once 7 and 0. Um and we'll talk about it in a second, but this is why. This is why and and people like to down wide receivers a lot. But I'm almost sure if the if DeAndre Hopkins was playing, it would have looked a little different. Do I think they would have won? Probably not, but it would have looked a little different. But this is the one of the first times I've seen Kyler Murray look look pedestrian. Now, this was his first time in the playoffs. I think you know, this was his first time. This is also Cliff Kingsbury's first time. Um but the Cardinals, man, they couldn't get anything going. For before we keep moving, uh, I pray, you know, he Buda Baker, he went out, you know, with a with a neck injury. He had to get stretched off. Uh, he has since put out, you know, positive message on social media from what I've heard. So I just hope for a speedy recovery. It didn't look I mean, anytime you have to get stretched off the floor or off the field, um, and he looked like he was paralyzed for a second before he was able to move his hands and stuff. I'm not speculating on what it was, but, you know, I, I do hope for a speedy recovery because nobody, whether you're a fan or a player, nobody wants to see that. So, but back to the back to the Cardinals, man, they couldn't get anything going on. Now, one thing that I was skeptical about is could the could the Rams adjust? And when I say adjust, going into this game, we know two things about the Cardinals. The Cardinals were not that good a uh, defense or not that good of a defense as far as far as stopping the run. They were not that good. And two, were they going to be able to contain were they going to be able to contain Kyler Murray especially when he goes out the pocket? Um and when you look at the Rams, the Rams are more of a pass happy team. I mean, Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. You have Tyler Higby. Where are they? Were they able to adjust as far as what what their game plan going into it was? But watching this game, man, nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, went right for the Cardinals. Uh, Kyler Murray threw a horrible pick six. Then I think two possessions later threw another pick, uh, which people are going to say was James Conner's fault. No, it was not. First, you threw the ball before James Conner even turned his head. Two, you beamed the ball at the man, and he's like right where the camera is. Like it's That's not a good pass. But Car- Kyler Murray did look like – he looked like this was his first playoff game. He really looked like – he kind of felt like a rookie. He looked like a rookie. He just didn't look good. And the one thing that I thought that Kyler Murray was superior in is he what he didn't do. He did not even really try to use his legs at all. There were a couple times when he tried to get out the pocket, but he really didn't try to, to run the ball at all, which I was baffled by because we know – that's one of Kyler Murray's big that's like Lamar Jackson now I'm not first of all people were telling me that Kyler Murray is better than Lamar Jackson y'all need to apologize I know this is one game but y'all need to apologize I know Lamar Jackson didn't make the playoffs but Kyler Murray didn't have to suffer the the whole team pretty much getting decimated with injury like Lamar Jackson y'all need to apologize to me because I was one of the people that stood here and said yo why are y'all saying that Kyler Murray is better than Lamar Jackson, who's already won an MVP in this league. Y'all need to apologize to me. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Side note, how people, fans take ownership and things that they should. Like, why do people need to apologize for me for stating their opinion? <laughs> like, it's like, it's their opinion, bro. If they think that Kyler Murray is better than Lamar Jackson, go right ahead. I don't agree with it, but that's me. Why should they apologize to me? Like, it's funny. But Kyler Murray, you know, back to this, back to the topic at hand. Kyler Murray just didn't, didn't really, didn't really do anything uh, well. Yeah, he had a touchdown, but and James Conner also scored a touchdown. Oh no, no, it was just James Conner. Yeah, no, it was, it was bad, man. It was bad, and this is not enough to fire. Cliff Kingsbury to me 
the Cardinals making the playoffs is a win in his sense, even though if you look at the totality of the season, you went from going 7-0 and to getting bounced in the wild, you know, the first game of the playoffs. That's definitely a big loss. But, you know, no, nobody outside of Carol or outside of Arizona thought that the Cardinals were going to make the playoffs, and they did. So, uh, hell, even J.J. Watt came back for the playoffs. But – Shouts out to the Cardinals. Shouts out to the Cardinals for making it. Shouts out to the Cowboys for making it. But let's talk about the Rams. This was the Rams team. This was the reason why you spent all that money in the offseason. This was the reason why you brought in Von Miller. This was the reason why you brought in um, Matthew Stafford. This is the reason why you brought in Odell Beckham Jr. for the playoffs. Now... Will they continue that? Because they have a tough matchup, of course, against Tom Brady and Green or in the in the Bucks. I'll let you guys know how I feel about that on Saturday. But this is the reason why here you I mean you have Cam Akers, you you have Sonny Michelle, Cam Akers, who had an Achilles injury back in July, was incredible. He was one of the biggest reasons why they won the game because him his running alongside Sonny Michelle's running. Uh, on Monday night, w- was able to m- keep the line. Like you didn't, you didn't have to put Matthew Stafford in situations where he could throw a bad interception. Like he, he didn't because the run game was so good. You didn't. He didn't have to feel like he was playing hero ball. You didn't have to feel like you you had to get that one play. Like you, you didn't put Matthew Stafford in those situations, and. <laughs> He looked incredible, man. The 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 this this is the Rams team that a lot of people, including myself, thought that this this is why you construct this team. This is why you spend all that money. This is why you're in a win now mentality, uh, because you get to the playoffs and they looked they looked phenomenal. The defense they couldn't get anything right outside of uh, Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. They were incredible. Uh, Von Miller looked like the Von Miller of old. Looked like the Super Bowl. Super Bowl uh, MVP Von Miller. So it's this is this this is going to be a scary Rams team. And again, I'll give my predictions on Saturday about the games. But this this is why you spend all that money. And they they thoroughly outplayed the Cardinals. Like it was from Jump Street. Like Cardinals Cardinals lost his game within the first five minutes. And that's that's surpri- That's shocking to me because. I'm looking at a team that in in Arizona that won seven straight games before. Now they did stumble into the playoffs. I think they lost four of the last five or something like that. But I, I'm shocked, and, and I'm it's it's like a I'm shocked and I'm not shocked. And it kind of goes back to the whole criticism that we've had with the uh, our Arizona Cardinals all year. It's like we need to wait and see because the Cardinals always. It seems like the Cardinals always have a good stretch, um, and they always full. And I was one of the people that got fooled this year. I was one of the people like, "Oh wow, seven and zero, yo, this Cardinals team can definitely make it to the Super Bowl." And then they just fold, and that's usually what happens. And it's it, it's they look bad. They look bad on Monday. Like it, it was. They they didn't even look like they should be on the same field, and I don't really say this much about NFL teams since they're all you know professionals. But the Cardinals didn't look like they deserve to be on the field with the rent. like they not deserve. They look like it just looked like a different class. Cliff Kingsbury was getting out coached by Sean McVay. Uh, Matthew Stafford was playing leaps and bounds better than Kyler Murray. Uh, every unit of the Cardinals were getting outplayed by the unit that was the Rams. So, shout out to the Rams for beating the Cardinals uh, 34 to 11.